In this lesson, we will be creating custom ArchiCAD object using the Morph tool. So I'll go ahead and activate the Morph tool by going to Design, Design, Architectural Tools, then the Morph tool here. So what I will do is we will create a table. So I'll start by creating a rectangular surface. So I'll have that as 600 by let's say 1200. So this is the top surface of the table. So we have it that way. What I'll do now is I will go to the 3D view. So let's select this surface. Click on the center and then with that you choose this option uh, push pull and you pull it up by 25 units. So that is the top surface of our table. So we get back to 2D again. I want to have four legs for for the table. I'll draw the first leg outline. Then place it at let's say that is where we have the leg. And I will uh, I'll move that is drag a copy of that this corner so this corner here place it at that point and select these two and then drag copies of the two to the top let's say at that point then we need some other lines here so let's say we have this and we have these two the last one so when we view this in the 3d window that is what we are going to see but the lines that we we draw we've drawn can be accessed from from the the, the bottom so we need to press pull this so that we now have uh, the legs so I'll select that and press pull select this list my cursor here then select this option the first option here which is press pull make sure that is selected and press pull that by 800 millimeters so we'll have a leg select the, this one at this corner and press pull that by 800 click on the outside so you see we have two legs here yeah, let us uh, zoom to these points also select the leg at that corner press pull 800 also and the last one is this press pull by 802 this is what we are we are trying to create so you notice we have some other members uh, like we have this which i want to press pull by 25 and we have this member pull 25 units Let's try to, to do this one and we have also this pull option then 25 millimeters and now we'll select this and, and uh, drag a copy from this point or drag I will drag a copy from this point move that by 600 millimeters and that is what is formed so when you when you when you view it in 3d that is a the table that we have created it's just a simple one with the timber members and the top surface this is our custom object but we've just modeled it using the morph tool to save it as an object what we need to do is we are supposed to select all components i will uh, first group them so Control g to group then to save it as an object go to file option we have uh, libraries and objects then we move down to to this option where we have save selection as then we will save that selection as an object so click on object this is what you get it is saying the top view of the selected elements will be used as the floor plan view of your new object so what we do is click on ok we have a prompt that is asking us to give this object a custom name so i will call it 
table QBA and click save and we are saving this library part to the abandoned library and these are the basic settings for the object we have lines and pens and building materials so if you want to customize this you can go ahead and make the changes that are necessary for me i will have the object saved with the, the default settings that are there then i click ok so our object has been saved now when we get to the floor plan view we can try to find this object under under the archicad bended libraries object so let's go to to design architectural tools then activate object tool so when that is activated for the objects what we do we click on this settings dialog and we have here we have a search so we search for table qba and this is the one that we saved so if you click on it we'll have options for preview and positioning and custom settings floor plan and section settings model classification and properties these are just the same settings that you have when uh, you're working with the other objects so we we have it selected then i click ok so that i cannot be able to place it on my floor plan so that is the table that we've changed to an object so you notice if you select this it is being selected as one entity and then then this now is different lines that are put together modeled using the morph tool so let's do some uh, customizations select this object then under go to file then we have an option for libraries and objects select this option and open object so the object settings are opened and i want us to change the 2d what you will see on plan when you insert that object in your drawing we click on the 2d simple here so when that is clicked this is what is opened the 2d simple is is all these lines so let's say i just want it to appear with only the outline of uh, the, the the external outline so I'll, what i will do is i'll select these lines and do away with them then when that is deleted we can uh, move out so that is saved as our 2d view so click click save then the 2d view is going to update so as you can see this one has updated so when we get back to object and we have a table here you will realize that even the preview that is appearing here has already changed we've come to the end of our video we've discussed how to create a custom object and save it to the Akikans project abandoned library thank you for watching cheers